hello guys welcome back to another video so today i've got for you this absolutely lovely ford ka now as always what i'm going to do is a quick walk around just so you can see the condition of the car and then we're going to jump inside and i'm going to show you the interior and all its features and everything so this particular car comes with the registration number fd11 lww and is a it is a ford ka z-tech um, it is the start stop one as well it's finished in this lovely shade of silver it is a hatchback as always um it is a 1.2 liter petrol engine and it puts out 68 brake horsepower it was first registered on the 22nd of july 2011 and it comes with a valid mot until the 30th of april 2025 so it's just been mot and it passed without any advisories um, the road tax you're only looking at 35 pounds for the year on this so it's absolutely great because it's very very uh, economical and very cheap to run as well insurance group 3e so it's very very low in the insurance bracket which basically means it's ideal for new drivers or for delivery drivers or for anything like that in terms of co2 output it puts out 115 grams per kilometer and you can expect to get a fuel economy of 48 miles per gallon around town and 64 miles per gallon on a motorway run with a combined uh, usage of about 57 miles per gallon which is very very economical as well performance you're looking at a top speed of 99 miles per hour and it has a not to 60 time of 13.4 seconds so yeah that's um pretty much it in terms of the details i just want to show you the interior as well um it is a two door the doors are very big and they open very wide as well so makes um getting in and out of the car very easy seats are in very good condition as you can see um that's just my microphone don't worry about that um we've got um a door bin here which is it's big enough it'll probably fit like a a bottle of water or something like that um that's where you open the door and in here you've got your glove box and you've got your owner's manual in the glove box as well <clears throat> and um, i'll show you that when we get to the driver's side and to to get in the rear you've got this little lever here you just pull on that and then just put the seat forward like that and then you got access to the rear seats which again are in absolutely lovely condition as well all right Let's move over to the boot <clears throat> so to open the boot you've got a button here just press on that and it just releases the boot and it's it's quite spacious as well for especially for the uh for the size of the car and then underneath here you've got your um well you could put a spare tire it doesn't have a spare tire they don't come with spare tires for some reason um so yeah which is annoying but then again, there's loads of new cars that don't come with spare tires anymore. To close the boot, you've got this little pull tab here. So just pull on that and then you can close the boot lid <clears throat> just like that. The alloys are in very good condition as well. They look absolutely lovely and the car as a whole looks absolutely lovely as well. Um, I'll show you the front one. It's absolutely lovely. Um, over here you've got um the same door bin on that side obviously you've got your speakers down there and over here you've got your controls for the electric mirrors and let me just grab the key that's the wrong one that's the right one so key looks like that uh, it does come with two keys as well uh just is it it's just this one that has the buttons for the central locking the other one is like a, a spare key it only turns the car on um, and you can unlock it but you have to put it in the uh, in the door All right ah lovely much more comfortable um, <clears throat> over here at the top you've got a, a net where you can put um, different items so you can put your phone in there or wallet or some keys or anything like that which is it's really cool it's really handy um, then you've got your interior lights um, and then over here you've got your vanity mirror but it doesn't have a light on this one and then obviously your rear view mirror over there so starting here with the steering wheel um 
and this is just standard normal steering wheel it doesn't have any buttons that you can control media or anything like that um okay closing the ignition i want to show you all the lights come on as they should car starts straight away on the button no issues whatsoever as you can see it's only covered 52,503 miles so it's very low mileage for the age um and it drives absolutely lovely as well um all the advisories on the mot uh were sorted out obviously i've got invoices and everything for all the work that's been done so yeah over here you've got your radio which works absolutely fine so yeah we're just gonna turn it off because i don't want youtube to strike my videos um and then moving down here you've got uh, two air vents you've got your front window defrost and the front window is actually heated as well so you can't tell by looking through the camera lens but when you look at the windscreen you can see it's got some little elements going through it which basically heat up so that the mists the um the windscreen a lot quicker as well and then you've got your rear window defrost you've got your hazard lights this is for your start stop to turn it off and this is for your fog lights and that doesn't do anything don't know why they put it there um moving down here this is your um climate control so this is where you select the temperature it's got a fan on four speeds it's got ac as well so this is to uh normal air and to recirculate and then this is where you want the air to come out from and then over here you've got your controls for your um windows so you press on that and just um it's it's a bit strange having it here rather than on the door where normally you find it but um it's not it's not out of reach you, it's literally as you're driving you can just press it so it's very close to the the steering wheel um and then obviously that one is for the other window um you've got a five speed manual gearbox and as always what i'm going to do is i'll put my foot on the clutch and i'm going to go through all the gears just so you can see that there's no crunching or there's no funny noise coming from the gearbox as you're going through the gears um if you do hear any of those crunching noises that basically means that um either your um clutch is on its way out or worse your gearbox is on its way out so you don't really want that so put on the clutch first second third fourth fifth and then reverse you have to lift this up you have to lift this up lift not list lift this up and then it's right and towards you like that that's a reverse so <clears throat> it goes through all the gears very smoothly there's no issues whatsoever and then moving down here you've got the ka logo you've got a 12 volt socket here and you've got a auxiliary port you've got a cup holder in here which is pretty strange you've got one cup holder but i mean i think there's another one yes you've got another one there well if you remove this then you've got another cup holder there um, so you've got your cup holder there you've got a good old manual handbrake um, this is your locking wheel nut and this is um, an ashtray it's never been used so it's never been smoked in but yeah it's there you can chuck it in the bin if you don't want it and you can use this as a cup holder as well um, <clears throat> yeah that's um that's pretty much it. There's not much else to, to say about it. I mean, it's a it's a very nice, um, small little car that will take you from A to B um, in comfort. Well, comfort enough. Um, I mean, I'm quite a big lad and I'm very comfortable in it. I don't have any issues driving something like this. Um, it is, it is obviously, it is a bit small, um, especially for me, it did it is a little bit small but i mean not everybody's my size and like i said for a new driver this would be absolutely fantastic because there's there's no um the insurance is really low on air you barely pay any tax i think like i said it's like 35 pounds for the whole year or something um <clears throat> so yeah it's very very economical and it's definitely worth getting something like this as a first car 
get some of those no claim bonuses um, so your insurance goes down with uh, with time but yeah <clears throat> um, let's take it I'm gonna park it over there next to my Prius and my Corolla so first gear handbrake is down we put this as a wide it accelerates absolutely lovely Just gonna park it right over here. All right. That was a, a very riveting test drive. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's 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 a great car for what it is. It's absolutely fantastic because it's like I said, it's a small little car. It takes you from A to B, and um, you barely pay any tax on it insurance is really low it comes with 12 months advisory free mot it's just been serviced as well so yeah it's not much else um not much else to say about it if you do have any other questions by all means don't hesitate to contact me you can find me on 01684 or uh, you can visit us at www.vindemautos.co.uk or you can email me at vindemautos at gmail.com whichever way works for you uh, it's fine by me so yeah thank you very much for your time guys and i hope you have a great day and i'll um hopefully i'll see you soon take care